Come on, Stella. Let's look at some of the other paintings. No, no. You can't? Don't you see it? It? It. It? Uh, now what are you talking about? Her expression. The ecstasy. The rapture captured in her eyes. What eyes? Is there a woman in this painting? Right there. And those are eyes? Yes. Ah, wheels. Those look like wheels. Wait, no. More like truck tires on that, uh... Yeah, sure, and that's some kind of truck. Ned, there is no way that can be a truck. Don't you see the, the swirling effect here, next to her eyes? That's her hair. Stella, this is supposed to be an abstract painting, not a Rorschach test. All right, Ned, this painting, what do you think of it? Think? Uh, well, if you're trying to use thinking in a purely cognitive sense, I'm really inclined to- Look at it. I have been, Stella. And what does it make you feel? How the hell can an abstract painting make you feel anything? Its purpose is to engage you intellectually. And, you know, I'm having a problem with your irrational... Ned, do you at least like this painting? Well, my initial response would have to be... Uh... Do you like it or not? Just a minute, Stella. You know I don't like to make impulsive, generic statements concerning taste, especially something as vague and unverifiable as art. Fine. Then I'm not leaving here until you tell me if you like it or not. Like? Uh... All right. As a matter of fact, I, uh... It certainly appeals to me. But you must realize it's only for aesthetic reasons. Well, now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> so what is it that you see in it that you like? All right, Stella, you really want to know. I see, in a word, abstraction. Okay? No way. A little bit of this, a little dab of that, a smear over here, a blob over there. Hey, that's sort of clever. Uh, that fly there, it looks almost real. You can almost touch... Oh, well, you, you never can tell with this kind of... Hey, now that's unique. Uh, that's what I like there in that corner, next to that green blob-like mass with the, the foot sticking out of it. Now, that's a very unique statement. It, it definitely gives us peace to... Uh... That is a baby. What? A baby. Baby? Yes, the thing you just called a blob. Stella, really now? You've got to trust your higher feelings here. We all have them, Ned. Do you realize I just happen to know what I'm talking about here, especially when it concerns my own subjective responses to anything I perceive in front of me? Lifeless abstractions, the purely physical, that's all you ever see. Yours is a typical earth plane viewpoint, Ned. Oh, you're not going to start with that new age theory of art again, are you? Why can't you ever just use your higher consciousness? Oh, don't give me that stuff. My higher consciousness is busy with other things, let alone with paintings from outer space. I mean, this painting, I feel it. The, the soul energy is just jumping out at you. I must say, this painter really knows how to use primal light. What? It looks more like... Random neural spasms with a paintbrush. Ha! Huh. It shows how much you know about Reinhold. Reinhold? Ned, do you realize this is a genuine Reinhold? And she does not use paintbrushes. She? Yes, Hildegard Reinhold. That's her name. There. <laughs> On second thought, it actually looks more like she used a squirt gun or something. Ned, this painter... We practically have the same soul memory. You know, I'm getting hungry. How about you? There's an interesting place to eat across the street. Well, that's why I was so stunned by it at first. I'm sure we must have met somewhere on the astral plane. Well, just look. Stella, do you realize what you're saying? In fact, we're both there. What, now you're in this painting too with this Reinhold? Yes. Wait a minute, how did you get in this picture? I don't see any women there, let alone anybody else. Right there. Where? Right here, next to the penis. Next to what? Where? Ned, you're not aligning yourself to a higher plane. Now we've got penises on a higher plane. 
Unfortunately, Stella, I just happen to be right here on this plane, and I don't see anything that's remotely, or even symbolically... Ned, you're resisting it. Now, stand here, close your eyes, and now look at the painting. What? Close my eyes and look? Yes, yes, I know, but use your inner eye. All right. My eyes are closed, and my inner eyeball is turned on. Boop, boop, boop. Now what? Ned, this is serious. Wait for it to happen. Yeah, sure. It. Now, come on, Stella. This is getting to be ridiculous. <clears throat> See anything yet? Yeah, spots. Lots of them. Spots? You're not trying hard enough. Stella... Haven't we had enough primal light for one day? Hey, what's that? It looks like a wad of gum. Well, so what if it is? Go ahead and mock her if you want, Ned. But do you realize that Reinhold is one of the most spiritual painters we have right now? Do you realize it took her years to work out her artistic karma? And right now, this is supposed to be her most critical phase on the Earth plane. Oh, sure, and it's certainly a phase we'll all fondly remember. And they'll certainly name it Reinhold's Astral Phallic Period. And then, of course, later there will be Reinhold's Primal Karma Phallic Retrospective. Okay, okay, Ned, you've made your point. Of course, it will have to be in the Crystal Phallic Wing of the Met, not to speak of... So, Stella, upon thorough investigation of this abstraction, any sane person would have to conclude that there are no visual representations of genitalia. There. What? Penis. Ah, uh, wheels. Penis. Wheels. Penis! Will you keep your voice down, Stella? Stella, there isn't the slightest resemblance to anything phallic in this painting. Well... Now I know why you said you liked this painting. Well, I told you why, for its innate allegorical abstracted content. Oh, come on, Ed. You don't want to really see it, right? Hey, wait a minute. What the hell are you getting at? You don't really want to see any penis in it. You're such a prude. A prude? I don't make moral judgments about art, especially abstract. No wonder you haven't opened your third eye chakra yet. Here, let me put my violet crystal on your forehead. No thanks, Stella. All right, now just wait a minute. I bet our program can clear this up. You know, you're reading too much into this stuff, Stella. Oh yeah, here it is. Number 47, 1994, entitled... Well? Penis on Wheels. Intense autoerotic image of a large wheel dump truck as symbolism of the self-driven urges of our present age. Oh, Ned. Did you say there was a restaurant across the street? Ned. Huh? The restaurant? I thought you said you were hungry, remember? Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, Ned, let's go. Uh, no, wait. Wait a minute. What? I can't. What's the matter, Ned? Uh, I don't get it. I... I just don't. Now... Yeah, now I see it. See what, Ned? Well, I didn't see it before, but the more we looked at this damn thing... You're not trying to pull something funny here, now, are you? No. I'm not, Stella. Well, look there. That's you standing next to that giant blue... I mean, well, at first it looked like the, a giant blue foot, but, well, there it is. A giant blue penis. Well, that's great, Ned. What else? <laughs> and, uh, you're stark naked. Oh, really? And, uh, your hair is very long and it's hanging down to your waist. Do you really see all that there? Yeah. It's... And it's swirling in that green, voluptuous wind. What else do you see, Ned? Well, you're just standing there, waiting. Waiting? What can I be waiting for? Waiting for me. Where? In that truck, there. Ned, do you really think that's you in that truck? Well, Stella, 
who do you think would be driving such a highly erotic large wheel dump truck?